Hi, welcome to this demo on the new rubbering module for Arteos CAD. I opened a manufacturing file. We have some one-ups here, sheet size. I added the die board with some balance knives and also some stripping rules. So let's take a look at the rubber design module. First of all, we offer you some options on how you want the rubber elements to look like. Do you want, want them to have a fixed width or filled up? What kind of separators do you want to use? Square, pointed or rounded separators? And perhaps the most important of all, what kind of material do you want to use for what line type on what position? For instance, for cutting lines, now I want to use the harder red neoprene rubber material. For all cutting lines, no. For stripping rules, balance knives and side knives, I want to use something else. For instance, the medium hard grey neoprene or cork. After that, we can run the calculation. So based upon the settings that we've just made, all rubber elements will be created automatically. Of course, if you want, you can still modify this manually. You can select and delete rubber elements, you can add and move splits, separators and even add new rubber elements. After that, we want to make a rubber layout. As you know, rubber sheets are quite expensive. So this is why we make a layout of all rubber elements of the same properties. You will see there is a sheet for the yellow slots, for the grey material and for the red material. You can give in the sheet sizes of the rubber sheets, a number of tries, you can play with the grouping, you want a high or a lower grouping. Based upon that, the calculations of all rubber elements will be done. After that, we can give each element a number, as you might see here. And if we select an element, the same elements on other positions are also highlighted, both in the die boards as in the rubber sheets. And then we can make some outputs. First outputs we can make is to a cutting device. That can be a Kongsberg table, that can be a water jet, and so for each rubber sheet a separate output is made. You can see that the numbers are still there. A second possibility, a second option we can make is create a die board. Why do we want to do this? When we make the outputs to the laser, you can see that all rubber elements are there, so they can actually be etched into the wood. So this way we can help you to prepare the die board, create the rubbering elements up front, combine them easily on rubber sheets and make an output to Kongsberg or Waterjet device to cut the rubber elements.